Hello and welcome back to the port. I'm the Gav Major and this is Wales Weekly. Wales Weekly is the weekly news video covering news of the game of the week past and the week future, along with any channel news and the potential speculations. So, uh, this week is the last week of the aircraft carrier test event of being able to play Airstrike, and this week has also seen the uh, well, addition of the Tier 5 carriers to the Tier 3 carriers that we had last week. Um, now, personally, I haven't been able to play this game mode simply because I've been very busy playing. Well, recording for the channel and such uh, so um, hopefully some of you guys have been enjoying the tier 5 carriers um, now obviously at the end of this week wargaming will be releasing a feedback form in order for people who actually did play carriers uh, and play against carriers to actually give their feedback to how they felt the carrier test event went now please bear in mind that obviously these carriers are the first time that people have been playing them with them and therefore um, not everyone's got amazing experience in able to play them so Bear that in mind. Also, um, it's been quite amusing how most of the games are usually populated with AI, so games are over very quickly. And when there are basically actual players playing in them and they're not playing the carriers, then they're usually playing quite heavy AA ships. So um, it, the results are going to be slightly skewed uh, due to um, low skill base of people testing the carriers um, and lots of AI and things like that. So Obviously, do take that into account when you do fill in your feedback. Now, at the end of the week, that does mean that the carriers will be removed from your fleet, along with the associated missions and the commanders. Um, now, it's worth noting that the modules that you have equipped to your carriers will be placed in your inventory. Any XP that you have earned on these um, carriers will be transferred to the tier one uh, ship of the respective nation which basically means it will be converted into elite xp which is quite nice now with airstrike mode coming to an end that simply means that next week we will be going into arena mode and um, which will be a new i don't know whether you want to call it competitive kind of um, gameplay uh, i mean there are going to be leaderboards uh, which is quite nice um, so basically there will be leaderboards based on the amount of XP earned while playing the game mode. Uh, rewards will be based on your positioning within the tables, I guess you could say. And it's a four teams of three in a, or, uh, a team deathmatch, I guess you could say. However, it's worth mentioning that uh, friendly fire will be activated. So be careful where you're firing. Because if you hit a friendly vessel, then you will not be earning any XP during that game uh, so the cost of uh, shooting a friendly are uh, quite severe really if you're looking to progress along the table and then also repeat offenders will be reported and noted and um, punished I guess you could say now we also did have a community manager stream on Friday the 5th of February having reviewed it um, obviously it's the usual we can't say this we can't say that no plans on this no plans on that um, but there are some things uh, it was worth noting that when we had the update, the flag associated with the Bisaviska and its commander would change from the Polish flag to the pan-European flag. And it's basically hinted uh, within the community manager stream that something pan-European is coming in the future. Uh, this is basically a, a general hint towards pan-European destroyers and associated premiums with the pan-European detectory uh, potentially coming in the future. As and when, obviously no days provided yet. Yeah. Now, there has been some news on the PS5 client-based update. We know it's upcoming, but we still don't have any date affixed as yet. Now, obviously, with USS Missouri, she's not actually in the game as yet. She's pretty much not achievable currently. And therefore, uh, there wasn't really any showcasing of the Missouri. However, it was confirmed that she will become a radar. And when it comes to her credit earning potential, this will be very much on par with the Alabama. Now, obviously, they have reaffirmed their uh, commitment to having no weather effects added to maps. Uh, this has been a constant question regarding will they introduce weather effects, and it's been a consistent answer. There are no plans to introduce these as yet. I'm sure that as and when they do plan to introduce weather effects, they'll probably let us know. But it would be what it would be, I guess, as you say. Now, um, they've also said that there's no short-term plans for new maps, uh, which basically means that we shouldn't be expecting any new maps for at least one or two patches, I would say. Um, although, I do feel that we probably could expect some new maps sometime this year, but 
what maps and when. Um, so definitely more longer term plans uh, rather than short term plans. Well, that wraps up the community manager stream and that wraps up the K modes that are coming and going. Obviously, we have the British Heavy Cruisers in early access this patch and we are still waiting for confirmation as to when the Moochin and the Sims will be released. Obviously, um, the usual notification is about three days in advance. Um, so, usually the information regarding uh, whether a... Um, Freedom ship will be coming to the store in the following week. It's usually announced on a Thursday or Friday. Now, when it comes to the channel, um, I guess it's worth mentioning that um, as I've now been accepted into the YouTube uh, partner program, I now have access to the community tab, which enables me to um, always engage with you guys without it having to be a video. Um, I do aim to try and use the community tab once a week, uh, expect to see things like uh, polls, asking questions here and there, and also just general notifications about how the channel is going and things like that. Um, and I look forward to using that. Now one thing that you may have noticed over the past week is um, the slow rollout of the new intro and outro to the videos. Um, hopefully this has been positively received and I probably will have this in queried in a poll in one of the upcoming weeks but um, any feedback in the meantime would be much appreciated also um, it's worth mentioning that back to the board is now an official community creator for world warships legends and has been accepted into the cc program um which is uh wow i guess it it's putting that approved stamp on the channel it's putting that official kind of stamp on the channel um but see how it goes, I guess you could say. Um, obviously, just settling in at the moment, I guess you could say. Now, uh, in regards to videos on the channel, well, I guess I've still got to do a Devonshire Let's Play, a Surrey Let's Play. I've probably got to do a Let's Play in the Cossack. Um, and obviously, we'll have the usual live stream on the Friday. Um, one other non-World Warships Legends related uh, item of content will probably be the painting of the Victory at Sea HM's Hood. Um, she's on my... Uh, desk uh, nearly completed and so I expect to probably have that maybe coming out this Sunday um, obviously that is uh, plastic kit modeling slash tabletop wargaming that's not going to be everyone's cup of tea but it's a little side project that I like to uh, have going on well if you have enjoyed this Wells Weekly feel free to give it a thumbs up and be in most like the subscribers let's say thank you very much for your continued comments contributions and support as always down in the description will be the link to patreon if you want to support the channel and patreon as i continue my commitment to keep this channel non-monetized furthermore is also the email address for the channel if you want to send in any of your own game captures for C trials and amateur reports until next time i'm the gap major and back to the port hey hey clear the way here comes the galloping Out of the way there, you fellows. Unless you want me to run you down.